Hello, I'm Paul Evans, and welcome to this little drawing workshop with the Frozen Ark and me. Okay, so today we're going to be drawing fish with basic shapes. The virtual arc. Right, I need to explain this a little bit. What I'm doing is I'm currently working with the Frozen Arc to produce a, um, it's a, it's a virtual arc. So this little picture here, it's actually by Edward Hicks, dates from about 1846. I thought it was just a nice illustration of what an arc might be. It obviously, it illustrates the, uh, the biblical story. What we're creating is a, is a virtual arc. Um, and what we'll be doing is creating a 180 degree, 360 degree kind of experience um, in virtual reality, which will enable you to interact with various endangered species. And I'm working with the writer, Rowena Somerville, who's creating some poetry for this. And I've been working with various uh, schools and communities around England and Wales to um, create models of animals that, that are going to people our arc. Okay. Let's get on with a bit of drawing. Oh yeah, if you need to find out about the Frozen Arc or if you want to know more about the Virtual Arc, then please visit the website. The address is www.frozenarc.org forward slash the Virtual Arc. And we're also on Facebook. So check us out at the Virtual Arc at Facebook at the virtual arc. That's the place to find us on Facebook. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to draw a picture of a fish. Now, what's really cool about a lot of marine animals is they have this kind of symmetry that runs down the middle. You know, one side is a mirror image of the other. And this makes them really quite enjoyable, quite pleasurable to draw. And what I'm going to do is guide you through a few simple principles as to how to draw a fish or a marine animal that's got some kind of central symmetry, just using the basic shapes that we can see in the animal. Now here we've got a rather beautiful ray, and this is what we're gonna use as our example. Okay, so as you can see, what I've done to begin with, I've marked out points at the far left-hand end, the far left-hand end here, the far right hand end, the top and the bottom. And I've also marked the kind of base of the, uh, the long tail structure here. So all I've done to begin with is just draw dots, bump, 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 like that, which has created almost a constellation of little dots that surround um, our, our fish here. And then the next thing to do is just join those dots together. And already we've got the shape of our, our skate or our ray here outlined for us. The next bit is where it gets interesting. So around our, almost our kite shape, we're just gonna draw the, these simple curves here. Just modify that line there. Have these little bumps here at the top of the of the tail. Have this little shape here, and have this little curve here, and these subtle curves here. A little nose for our our ray here. And as we can see already, it's starting to look a lot more like the picture that we could see on the left. I've kind of shaded in those areas that we need to add to that basic kind of geometrical shape. Once that's done, we can get rid of those lines, those basic kind of geometrical construction lines and start to add detail. Like I've, I've started drawing in the, uh, the, the kind of circles or dots that it's got on its body. I've added detail to the nose, added its eyes. Now we can kind of fill that in further with shading. Now we have quite a realistic drawing of our skate or ray. And it's kind of done. It's as simple as that. I thought I'd better start off uh, another sea creature, this rather beautiful clownfish here, just to give you an idea of how that could look. As we can see, we've got a big oval here. We can see that. 
in our clownfish and a big oval here which really is the tail. We join those shapes up, modify them and there we have kind of a nice sketched outline for our clownfish there. So please send us your drawings. Um, they'll help us create our virtual reality experience. They'll help people to understand the plight of endangered species and um, they'll help people to, uh, yeah, learn more about them and uh, love them more. Okay, so please send us clear, good photos of your drawings to info at frozenark.org, info at frozenark.org, along with your name and age. So I'm grateful to say that the virtual arc has been made possible thanks to funded from Arts Council England's National Lottery Project Grants Programme and by the Wellcome Trust Public Engagement Proof of Concept Award, ARCs 21st Century, hashtag there. So yeah, check out more on thefrozenarc.org or visit us on our Facebook page at the Virtual Arc. Thank you. Yeah, do please send us your photos to info at frozenarc.org along with your name and age, and we'll feature them on the website or on our social media. Thank you very much. Bye for now.